Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The Department of Communications has gazetted the Broadcasting Digital Migration Policy this week, enabling stakeholders to move ahead with migrating the nation from analog to digital terrestrial television. Senior contributing editor online, Natasha Odendal, joins me in studio to tell us more. Hi, Natasha. Hi. So could you go through what's been happening over the past few weeks? in terms of digital migration? Well, yeah, there's actually been quite a bit happening. Um, a lot of movement on the ground, particularly from the department, which has been quiet for the past couple of months. They've now made the biggest decision or the biggest block uh, that we've had so far, and that was the set-top box control system. That has been uh, delaying the migration probably for more than two years now. And now that a decision has been made not to include a conditional access um, element in the control system, for the subsidized boxes. Now, South Africa seems to be moving ahead. The department has actually engaged um, all the entities uh, that is involved in the project itself to try and align it to the policy. Um, the South African Post Office at the moment, along with GCIS, are busy working on plans to distribute the five million set-top boxes that the government is actually funding for South Africa's poor um, to get it actually out to them in time for the um, switch off. And USASA is also busy working on the qualifying criteria for these households and that should be done shortly. Centec has also basically completed its conversion from an analog to digital on its stations, the sites that will be distributing the um, digital signal. They at the moment cover about 85% of the population on a terrestrial network. The rest, which have been deemed a little bit too uneconomical to reach, will be covered by satellite. CAS is also wrapping up its own DTT regulations. Um, we should be hearing from them shortly. They should be publishing the information that's, that's going to go along with the policy. And now the department is also going to roll out a 90 million rand um, public awareness campaign to try and get South Africans on board with the migration um, educate them, tell them what it's about, because I don't really think people understand what it means for them. And the deadline for the migration is June 17. Do you think South Africa is going to be able to meet ITU's deadline for the migration to be completed? No, that is a general consensus. It's not going to happen. Um, industry, long before the department has confirmed it, has said it's, it's going to take at least two years. 18 months at the very best to actually complete the migration. Um, the department earlier this month has actually said, they've confirmed that we're definitely not going to make it. The problem with that is that means our analog signal is actually going to be open to disruptions, um, which could actually cause a problem <laughs> in the long run. Um, but I mean, even if the minister switches on the digital signal today, I mean, we're three months away um, to get the um, set-up boxes out to ev even just the subsidized set-top boxes out to the public, in three months is going to be impossible. Um, we still need to actually get them manufactured. Um, we still have to undertake our dual illumination, which is basically where the analog signal and the digital signal run um, simultaneously um, to ensure a seamless transition. And I mean, South Africa's own plans for that was two years. And what else has to be done? Well. The department actually still has to allocate a manufacturer to manufacture the SEPTA boxes that it wants to um, give to the poor households. Um, the other manufacturers need to actually get the SEPTA boxes out to the general public as well. The general public needs to be informed about why they need a SEPTA box, why they're actually going to need to buy one, um, you know, to watch their own television. Um, ICASA still has to complete their DTT regulations. The South African Post Office needs to actually gear up to be able to distribute um, so many boxes. There still needs to be um, clarification on who the installers are going to be for the set-top boxes, who's going to maintain them, um, repair shops, call centers, for instance. Um, we, have, we don't have clarification on a lot of things that are going to happen once we switch our digital signal on. Well, yes, yeah, hoping that everything turns out okay. Thanks, Natasha. That is the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.